Hi guys, welcome to this short video about my experience with using the GoPro as a webcam for Windows. This sounded pretty tempting to me, maybe even for recording YouTube videos. And so I've been Googling for the best instructions. And this is my, let's call it very interesting experience with this thing. I think it's really important to watch this video before you start with this thing because there are quite some problems or there could be quite some problems with that. It's not a straightforward process unfortunately with the GoPro. I heard that with the DJI action camera it's much easier but since I have only the GoPro 10 Black Hero I'm trying with this one or I tried with this one here. So the instructions which I've been using and I think most people are using that in the community gopro.com and so on and so on. And as a step one, it's highly recommended to update the firmware of the GoPro itself to the latest version. So usually you do that by using the GoPro Quick, which you install, for example, from the Android store, you activate Wi-Fi on the camera, then you connect and then you go to update. Usually after connecting to the app, the app will always suggest to update anyway. So you don't have to really look very far. It's a pretty easy, straightforward process. And I didn't have any problem so no complaints about step one and the gopro was still working after that that's also important i didn't see any disadvantages then step two install and launch the gopro webcam app and here we have already some problems it says download gopro webcam desktop utility from here and the website is salesforce dot com something and we can also click here and here's same thing the website even though it's mentioning gopro in the url it's actually salesforce.com this is rather weird i would expect that this software is coming from gopro and so you could download it from the official gopro website but no it's not possible but i downloaded i think i downloaded it from this link here and so I have it here in the download folder. You can see this is the version. I think it's pretty up to date. And it even says Authors GoPro Incorporation. So it looks like this software, unless it's total faked, it's written or produced by the GoPro company. So why can't they provide it from their website? I have absolutely no clue. By the way, I've tested this installer on virustotal.com and unfortunately I can't tell you if it's absolutely safe or not. As you can see, none of these virus programs, and I mean, we have very, very well known brand names. They have all checked the installer and have nothing found. But there's something here which I can't explain. It says matches some rules here. You can also look into the community. It has a community score of minus 8. But on the other side, there's really no real virus found here inside. And I've installed that and been using that now for two days. The built-in Windows antivirus scans the installer and even the directory after installation. And it has nothing found. So after downloading, we double click here, of course. Then we click on next. Next. Maybe because it's a little bit a weird download, it could be worse to read everything here. But I didn't do that. I just clicked on accept, click on next, install. And it says verified publisher GoPro Media Incorporated. So sounds pretty good. Do you want to allow this app to make changes? Yes. And so it has it installed. Click on finish. Another thing is you have to restart the system. Otherwise it won't work. So usually you have to click on yes, reboot the system. But I'm trying here is no. Maybe it could also work because I had it already already working yesterday. So what you get here, for example, after you hit the Windows key and type GoPro, there's this thing here. Of course, you can pin it to taskbar, make a shortcut to your desktop whatsoever. But as far as I've seen, it will automatically start after every reboot anyway. So it shouldn't be needed to make your own desktop icon. So we close this again. And so again, it's here. You can see GoPro webcam 
and it's all black because it's not connected. And so what we have to do is step three, power on your GoPro camera connected to your computer using USB cable. What I did, I tried with USB A to C, didn't work. Then I tried to connect USB C to USB C because my computer has a USB C port and that worked then. But I guess it should somehow be possible to use USB A to USB C. But of course I cannot guarantee. And so after connecting the GoPro, it shows me the GoPro. And yeah, as a big surprise, even without rebooting, it shows me this blue point down here compared to everything gray. Now it shows blue, that means it's connected. And the only thing which we can do here actually is right click and click on preview. And if we are lucky enough, we get a preview. I hold my hand in front of the camera so you can see it's really live, not just like a stand image. And so we really have a live view now. And so we, now we need a program to use that. And most people would think maybe camera would work, the normal standard camera software from Microsoft, but it's not working, it just throws an error code. So I close this again. By the way, there's some information down here, definitely worth to look at that. Yeah, here you can see which programs can work with that. So most of the newer communication programs should be able to work with that. But when you want to record, like locally record from these webcams, for example, to upload on YouTube later or so, then this is not so easy. But as far as I found out, OBS should be able to do that. And so I have the OBS Studio here already installed. I click on that. By the way, during the whole process, especially when I did this the first time, everything was totally unstable. I can tell you, I had to reboot my GoPro many, many times, reconnect GoPro many, many times, restart even OBS many, many times. I think it's even mentioned down here what you have to do when it's not working. Yeah, that's the biggest thing here. I'm having trouble connecting to GoPro. What steps can I take to fix this? Close the platform, unplug the camera, turn your GoPro off and on again, reconnect, open, reopen, and so on and so on. That's what I've been doing yesterday for almost two hours. It was absolutely crazy. Now it looks like after doing this couple of times rebooting, now it seems to be much better. What you have to do here, for example, in the OBS, the GoPro is not automatically added here. It's just this window capture thing. So what I had to do here is to click on the plus and then I had to add one of these. Yeah, I think it was video capture device, something like that. Yeah, I can do this because I don't need it actually, or actually it's not working really good. The thing is that I don't have any audio. Maybe I can fix that, I don't know. Can I remove the thing here? Remove. Yes, so this is actually what you see at the beginning as sources. You click here, then you click on video capture device. I gave it a name, clicked on OK, and then you have to select the GoPro. Can I think you can even configure the video? No, it doesn't allow resolution, custom. Yeah, it's a little bit difficult, you see. Now it's not working anymore. This thing is so freaking unstable. When I watch the GoPro, it's flashing, blinking, whatsoever. So this thing is really not very, very stable. Use custom audio. Oh, cool. Now we have even the audio. Okay. Looks like with this setting here, use custom audio device microphone. Or is that the microphone which I'm using to talk here anyway? That's weird. Yeah, definitely not an easy thing. And you have seen also some of the errors. Sometimes you can see such green artifacts, but I would say it's more or less okay now. I don't know why it's in upright position. I have it actually leaning to the side. Uh, maybe it's because of the rotation, so it wants to show it always in upright position. Yeah, okay, turn the camera now around, but now it's having huge problems, you can see. 
lagging artifacts now it's not showing online anymore somehow offline again yeah definitely nothing really really stable it's really cut off now not showing current picture so i close this again yeah definitely not what i've been expecting but this is also something which we are used from gopro gopro definitely not a very stable camera I'm having myself also a lot of problems sometimes the camera gets stuck I can't shut it down or it just keeps running using up the whole battery overheating and so on and so on and I'm definitely not an exception there are so many people who have stability problems with the GoPro so I would say definitely not something which I would really recommend to use the GoPro as a webcam probably you are way better off just with buying some $40 webcam which you can just plug in on USB it will be much more stable and as far as I've seen with a lot of reviews if you pay maybe $40-$50 or so you can get pretty decent image quality which could be pretty close to a GoPro definitely not uh, like a GoPro stabilization but if you just want it as a webcam then you don't need stabilization and also audio can be pretty good and I mean the built-in microphones of the GoPro are not really good anyway not even the one from the media mode yeah I would definitely rather stay away from such a solution but uh, yeah that's it for now I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments or want to share your own experience then just let us know down in the feedback area i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel thanks for watching see you next time